Hey guys, it's Tark with Cyclone FPV, and today we're actually going to be doing this. The so Cyclone FPV, hopefully this works, uh, Martian 5 215mm frame. Try to get situated here. I've got my little, my little text here at the bottom now. Hopefully that's coming up. So anyways, that's what we're going to be working on today. And let me give you a picture in picture here. Now, I've got to be honest with you. Um, I actually built this at about 2.30 this morning, uh, and I guess I was pretty tired at 3 o'clock this morning. And I don't know where the video went, meaning I don't know if I just didn't hit record or what. So... As I put these parts back out, understand that I've taken this apart again to try to rebuild it. And some of the stuff I've just put back in bags, but I don't know if it's, it's going to look right or not when I pull this out. But let's just get to it, shall we? So I'm going to lay all these parts out here now. Some of them I put back in my bag, but I will explain to you um, what comes with it and what is different. And the fact that I've had to rebag some of this back up. Okay, so I'm going to put the bags aside for a second because these I want to go over this part first. So... Um, you do get your, obviously you get your battery straps, I'm going to put those away, um, but let's go through the frame itself. Now I've measured this with calipers already, but I got the caliper right here, so let me zero it back out. Okay, yeah, uh, let me see, let me get a, let me just get a good, simple, okay, there we go. So uh, this is going to be your bottom frame, and that's going to be, I'm going to go to about two millimeters on that one, okay, so you got a two millimeter bottom frame. Uh, top frame uh, should be about the same, okay, and then you got your arms, should be about five. All right, so there's one. I understand I'm not cranking down on this thing. I'm just kind of getting it as an estimate. Three, and then here's your fourth arm. All right, and then here's your camera plate. Should be about a millimeter and a half. All right. Okay, and then your other two mounting plates, uh, again, should be about a millimeter and a half. They are, and then we have our bottom plate, or our top plate of our, of our arms, which is two millimeters. And then we have this, which I'm really going to probably advise you not to use this. Uh, it looks like, and I assume what it's for, um, again, is to, uh, to hold the antenna out, I, I would think. I don't know, though. I'm going to check something real quick because there's two things about it that, uh, that caught my attention. And let me see. Let me grab this here and see if I'm even close. Because I think, I don't know, but I think... Yeah. Okay. So what I'm gonna, what I would advise, and I'll, I'll draw it up. It may take two seconds. I'm gonna put this on so that you can 3D print it, and we'll offer it, and you can also just have a buddy of yours print it. I would not put my antenna on carbon fiber. So by all means, I don't know. You know, it's here. The piece comes with it. But I would probably advise you just kind of leave it alone. Okay. Uh, and I'll explain to you why here later when I do a, a antenna test. So let's go ahead and just lay these pieces out. So we're gonna put everything kind of organized. Um, all right. So here's our arms. All right, there's our little mounting plates. Uh, let's put the other camera plate first, right here. Okay, then we've got the smaller mounting, the larger mounting, the antenna plate that we just talked about, the antenna holder right here, and then this is gonna be the plate that goes on. Now, when you do get this frame, these um, these rivet these inserts right here will not be they they do not come in the piece. You actually put them in and then screw it down. But I've already screwed this down. I don't feel like stripping them back out. So just understand that this will actually look like this without the silver. And then you just put the pieces on and screw it in. So um, one of the other things that I went over when I was doing this online here. Let me get through this first real quickly so I can put this away as well. I need to clean my bench off here. So uh, we've got our silicone pad that will go on the bottom. This is for our battery, uh, and then this basically acts as a landing pad. Uh, so this will be on the bottom, okay, and you put like that. Uh, and let me see what else. Um, this will go on the bottom of the frame, and that's pretty much it. So I'll show you how these all connect later, but I, I'm going to just throw these in the box right now, the bag to get going. And then um, they also do give you uh, uh, pads for the arm here, so um, I'll show you that as well. But that is not a major issue. Now, let's get to what we have, okay? First of all, here are the screws. Now, I've combined these into one bag, but they came in, I think, two or three bags. So um, what, we look, what it looks like we have here are six millimeter, eight millimeter, and either 12 or 14 millimeter. So I'm gonna just lay these out in these pads right here so we can get an idea of how many we have. One, two, three, four. Oh, you know, I gotta stand these up just so I can see. Okay, what a pain, come on. Three, four, all right, five, Six, ooh, seven, eight. All right, we'll just keep going here. Nine, ten. I don't think I put extras in here, so I'm pretty sure this is what it comes with. But and, and it'll make sense in a minute. And then twelve. Okay, so there's our screws there. And then oh, well, there's another one which may be one of my extras. I have no idea. Um, so let's go through the eight millimeter ones. One, two, and then here's it. That right there. Okay. 
So uh, these are numbered here, uh, so it makes it easier. So we got 17, no, do I have another one? No, okay, so, um, and then we've got, I think these are gonna be our, uh, let me see, is that gonna be 14 maybe? Something like that. I'm taking a guess here. So it's either gonna be 12 or 14. All right, it's gonna be 12, okay? So these are gonna be 12 millimeter screws, and uh, these will actually go to the, um, uh, through the arms into the uh, uh, inserts that you see right there. Okay, so look, I'm only doing, I don't usually build frames where I line the screws up like this, but I wanted to show you guys. Okay, there's one bag out. Let's go to the next bag. <clears throat> okay, and I believe, yeah, let me just line this up real quick. So here's our nylon um, spacers. And there's some tiny nylon spacers, so I'm just gonna lay these down. I don't really wanna stand these up because they're too small. And three, and then four, and then we're gonna put our uh, washers. So one, two, let me line these up. One, two, three, four, okay. And then we've got the screws. One, two, three, and I'm missing one, obviously, because, uh, and it's probably around here somewhere because uh, I think I see it. Let me see if this is it. Is this it? Yep, there you go. Okay, so there's the four screws, and I'll explain all that in a second. All right, now, the one thing that you do not see in here, and I'm still not done yet, but why are these screws right here? These are mine, and I'm going to leave these up as an option for you guys. Actually, I just set them aside. These are 30-millimeter um, screws, and I'll explain to you why uh, I use them here in just a minute. Okay, so then what you have is your standoffs, okay? So let's just, oh, where am I going to put these? Um, I will put them here. Okay, so here's your standoffs. And your standoffs are, I believe, 30 millimeter. So let's just see. Uh, this is, let me make sure I got this right. All right, so we have a 30 millimeter standoff. Sorry, guys. Okay, so we have 30 mil. And this is, I gotta check my, gotta make sure this, Metatuyo, 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 whatever, is uh, awesome. Metatuyo is an awesome brand, but um, it's getting a little stiff here, so I'm gonna have to work on that. All right. So we've got our standoffs, okay? So as you can see by the frame here and the arms, the arms are super thick, man, and they're really good. I'm really impressed with this part of it. So what we wanna do is just pretty much just plan this out. First thing is we've got all these small six millimeter screws. So we're gonna go ahead and figure out that these must go, uh, here's your top plate and here's your bottom plate, okay? So these are gonna go as the standoffs, right? So we can go ahead and mount that now if you want, um, and I would. So I'm gonna start by putting in the uh, six millimeter standoffs. All right, so let me just do that. And I'm just gonna hand tighten them. Nothing crazy right now. We don't need to go bazooka bob on this thing. Just tighten it down by hand and hang tight. All right, so let's do that. And that's gonna be step one, basically. All right, let me get these bags out of here. Okay, and we're gonna keep doing this, so let's just knock this out. And by the way, I have a, a, a kind of a reserved amount of these frames. Um, if you go to, uh, here, let me see if I can, while I'm doing this, let me see if I can do that real quick. This computer always gives me a hard time. Let's close this, let's open it. Let's close beta flight. Let's close this, let's close this. Close that, close that, and there we go. Let's go here, okay? So um, let me show you what I'm looking at here. So if you go to uh, the website here, whoops, well, that's not right. There, boom, sorry, oh, God. Okay, so if you go to the website here, um, and you, I've obviously, I've been trying to update the site. It's gonna get better, I promise, but I tried to organize things a little bit easier. So now if you go to drone frames, uh, and you can go by brand in this case, so TCMM, which is right here, and what you're gonna be looking for is the Martian uh, 5, and I just put it up, so I'm hoping it's gonna pop up here. Should have, there it is, the Martian 5 215. And I've got it on sale right now for $29.99, okay guys? And um, I've, I only have a handful of these things, all right? I, I don't expect them coming back in for a while. The video that we're doing right now will be posted right here, uh, but it is $29.99, so feel free, uh, if you're interested, uh, get it while I've still got them. All right, let's get back to business here. So we're gonna go ahead now and, uh, oops. All right.
Okay, that's done. Now, uh, let's go to the next part. The next part's gonna be actually getting the arms. Now, this can be a little tricky, okay? Because these arms, they look almost identical as far as how they sit, but they're not, okay? So here's what happens. If you put them like this, they become a very narrow arm. And if you flip them over, they become a wider arm. And the wider arm is actually what we're going for here. But believe it or not, I, if I'm not mistaken, I was tired when I did this yesterday, but I'm pretty sure, I'm gonna check real quick while I'm doing this now, I'm pretty sure that both ways, they'll both line up. I mean, like it's 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 funniest thing, but you can actually get them to line up with the screw holes like this and keep it narrow, or you can go wide like this and get it wider. We're gonna build it this wide way because I think that was the intended purpose. So here's the deal. The other thing is, is that your, your standoff here is 30 millimeters, right? But once you place this on top, which is how it was intended to be installed, once you play this, place this on top, um, you're gonna lose uh, about nine millimeters. So you're gonna have about 21 to 22 millimeters roughly um, to, for the inside. Now, I have built the drones this way and they have been fine. So keep in mind that if you want the full 30, you can place this on the bottom and tighten it down. And then what you would do is, the screw head's actually bigger here. So you could put this on the bottom, right? And if you're gonna be using a 30 by 30, okay, or anything that you're, whatever you're gonna be using, um, you can screw downward for the center, all right? So I would basically tell you, uh, you would do it like this, okay? And then you could bolt, uh, and I'm not lining the holes up, but you could bolt straight down, and that would take, if you're using a 30 by 30, then you could bolt down into the 20 by 20s, then remove the bottom piece here, all right, and just run your screw in. The head's gonna stay there. If you want, you could put a washer, or you can leave this on here for a little, you know, whatever you wanna do, and run the screw up so that you could mount your board. And then you could put a lock down at the top. So if you wanted to mount, this is not how it's intended to be built, at least not per um, the standard instructions, but I do wanna show you the option because sometimes you do have a stack that's gonna be a little bit thicker than, than um, that's gonna be a little bit taller than what, what this is giving you. So let's just say you went like this, okay? First thing I would tell you is take your, um, take your screw here and go downward, right? And actually, I, I'm gonna do this to where this is the front, so we've got everything organized. So let's just go down like this in the 20 by 20, assuming I'm using a 30 by 30 stack, okay? Let me make sure I've got the wide uh, option here. So let's see, yeah, it's gonna go like that, okay? So then I would take this and place it right in here like that. And I would take my piece here and I would go ahead and just screw it in like normal, right? Fasten it down. All right, there. Now you, you have not given up any strength or any anything at all really. This is gonna be still a solid frame even if you go this way and give yourself the full 30. This part doesn't matter. This is really insignificant. The catch comes in when you, go, when you come to this point, right? So you've got two options here. You can leave this rivet in. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I think this is gonna screw in no matter what, but let's just see. So you can actually go through that, right? And I'm, I, I think so. I just think I need to get this lined up better. Hold on. So let me see if I can get it lined up. And if not, you take it off, but yeah, there we go. So it's gonna go through the threaded area like, you know, like normal, like it normally would. And so we can just go ahead and get this on there, right? And then to lock it in place, now you've given up about a millimeter or so by using the thread that's still in there, but I, it, again, it doesn't matter. It's gonna be solid either way. So if you do it like this, right? And now that's a 30 millimeter screw. I may use a 35 then, because I'm giving so much up. But then I would just put a, um, a standard um, aluminum fastener right here, or steel fastener right here, and just screw it down. I mean, there you go, all right? And you've accomplished the same thing. I need to get me a, uh, one second, let me get this uh, tool here, uh, if I can find it, or not. I gotta get all my tools put together properly. But in, in either case, um, you know, a little, little, you know, call it hex ratchet thingamajigger. Can't find mine right now. Um, but you would do that and, what the heck, oh, I'll just use uh, this for the time being. All right, so there. I mean, this is solid. It's just as solid, but now you're getting the full 30 millimeters inside. So. Remember that you do have two ways to do it, but for this build, I'm actually gonna do it uh, the other way. Um, but you do have this option, so please don't think that uh, you have to go one way on this. And I have built more of my frames inverted like this, or not inverted, but in reverse like this, so that I could have more room uh, because I was trying to fit a DJI air unit in or something like that, and I needed the extra room. Okay, so hopefully that helps you guys. Now, let's get to building this frame the way uh, they intended for it to be built. 
uh, as long as we all agree that you're not going to risk anything um, by doing it the other way. You really won't. It's, it's very um, secure. All right. So going the way they want, we're going to lay this frame out. And again, remember to check your the arms here. If you turn this way, it's going to be narrow. If you try to turn one of them the other way, it's just going to look weird. Okay. You can tell. Make sure you go with the wide option. All right. And then we're going to leave the frame front. So we're going to have these slots here aiming forward. And we're going to go ahead. Now, this is how they intended for the frame to be built. So you're going to come in from the bottom here. And I'm only going to do the 20 millimeter because in this frame, I can use, uh, for my design, I'm going to use a 30 millimeter stack when I build this out as a, as a, a build video. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and run the, four, or the 12 millimeter screw uh, through uh, the 20 millimeter spot on the, on the uh, frame and on the arms. And that's just so I can secure everything in place because I'm going to show you what we're going to do here to make it a little easier. Now, again, I got to remember which is the wide way to do this. So that is the wider way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to put this here. There you go. Just get it lined up. And you can tell if you've got it right or if you've done it wrong, because when you line it up, you're going to see the gaps here on the holes and you're going to want to make sure they look the same. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here in just a second. Right now, I just got to try to get this lined up. It's, it's, I've tightened this one a little too much. So I've kind of lost some flexibility in the, here, there we go. Let's see if we can do this. All right, so I'm going to run this screw through and I'm going to put this arm right here. See, if you keep it loose, you can just kind of move all the carbon fiber around then bring it back and then there you go. So now you can add that one there. And again, don't tighten it too much because you've got to bring, uh, oh, no, 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 hold on. Make sure you have the other arm in the right position though or else it'll lock it in place down. All right, so that's my bad, hold on. All right, let's do this. Let me bring this arm back up because it needs to be up here when I put the other one in. So let's bring it like that. Now let's put this one back in uh, and we'll line up the holes right here. Put that screw in there, there we go. And then we'll bring the plate around. And I'm making this much more of a pain than it really is, but hey, let's just go with it for now, okay? So there we go. So you, once you once you have them in place, they kind of can't budge without the other one giving. So And that's one of the reasons this frame is so solid, is it's just like this. So I mean, I can't, this one's gonna prevent this one from moving too much. So we've got those two in. Now let's look at the bottom two. And again, we're gonna look for the uh, widest position of the arms. So in this case, we've got this option. Uh, we've got the narrow option, and then again, if you turn it weird, you're going to notice. So it's going to be uh, like this right here, okay? And uh, so that's how we're going to install it. And again, this is the this is the um, bottom arms now. So I'm just going to turn this around. I'm going to slide this one right here. I'm going to run the screw in like here. All right, and then I'm going to take this one and put it right here. And put the other screw in right there oops wrong spot right there okay now let me just screw these down and i'll show you what we're going to do next all right now the company has this in such a way which i think is kind of weird i'm not really sure why it's like this but um their way of looking at this is that you could i assume the way this works is they've given you these nylon standoffs right here okay and my guess is that your option is to, not like this, because you have no grip, but my, your option is to probably remove these um, inserts right here and then replace them with the nylon and bolt that down. I would advise you not to do that. Nylon is not strong and I wouldn't put anything on that. So my recommendation is go get a 30 millimeter screw or 35, whatever, because don't forget you're giving up five millimeters here. You've got, um, you've got five and then let's say seven. So this is gonna give you, this is the same length as your standoff. And so you're gonna lose some of that anyway, but I would use a 30 millimeter or whatever. I would stick with 30 and run it through instead. What you're gonna do is you're gonna thread it through the insert, okay? Um, and that's actually what you're gonna mount your, um, your flight controller to. Okay, sorry, they mean for the phone to ring. I apologize, let me turn that down, okay? So that's what you're gonna run your, um, you're gonna run these through and then you're gonna put your flight controller on this instead. All right, and it's gonna be solid. There'd be no nylon between the frame and your flight controller, so any hard wrecks and stuff should be okay. At least you're not gonna see any uh, any of the nylon give, all right? So this is how I would do it. One, 
and they're building stuff next door, by the way. So you're going to hear this sawing for a little bit. Just hang in there. All right, so two. I usually have an automatic uh, uh, drill here for this, but I cannot, again, I cannot find. I'm looking, but I cannot find the, the, the bit. So for right now, I'm kind of stuck doing this, but that's all right. So we're going to knock this out. One, two, and then we've got only two more to go. Okay. All right. Let's get number three in here. There we go. This one's going in easier, so I'm just going to hand spin that a little bit until it gets to a threading spot. And then I can just, I believe, I can get this to spin like that. We'll just speed this up. There we go. Okay, so it's three. When they spin like that, it makes it easier, but not all of them will do that because the arm is placed in a way to where it's not as free to move. But uh, in that case, it was fine. All right. So let's go ahead and maybe I can get this. One. Whoops. Nope. I can't get it to spin. Maybe if I loosen this a little bit. Can I get this? At all? Yes. There you go. Let's just spin that up. Ooh, hitting all my tools. There we go. And then we will try our best to spin it like this. All right, fine, there you go. Now tighten everything back down. All right. And this sucker is solid. I mean, you could I can tell when I'm turning it, I have no budging at all in any of this, okay? so. From there, now, here's our setup right now, okay? Now, we do have the option, they do give you little mounts here, like for example, this one right here. So it's kind of cool, and I think um, the idea here is to, if you want to mount in the back here like this, so you can just go ahead, put down the parts that you need, and I think this is gonna be just the perfect fit. So we can do, and get your smaller screwdriver out. So do one. Now you could use this for whatever. I mean, you could put your um, BTX back here, you can put your receiver back here, Whatever you choose, but I'm just going to show you what the option is. And let me see if I can get this. Now, it could also go up front if you wanted to use it where you're going to mount your flight controller. I don't have a use for this, so I won't use it, but I'll save the parts anyway in case I want a piece, ow, a piece of carbon fiber for another build. It's a 20 by 20 already pre-cut. They've done a good job of this one. It can be universally used for, like I said, mounting a receiver, pretty much doing whatever you want. Let's go ahead and do this one. And then we'll do one more. Okay. So there's that. Okay. And then what you can do, now you can just take this plate, place it on here like this. Or you can use these standoffs to do something else with. And then you just put these fasteners on and you're done. Okay. So let me just put those down. One. Why this thing wants to give me a pain in the butt right now? Let me just use this tool. All right, let's do three and four. Okay, there we go. Okay. Oh, come on. All right, so there's plate number one right there. And to be honest with you, again, I don't have a use for that plate. Uh, I also have this plate here. And, and this one, again, I have no use for this plate. Um, there's really nothing that I need it for. But uh, if you, you know, if you wanted to use it on a build of some sort, whether it's this one or another one, um, they have given you, let me get this off. They have given you some pretty good areas to put zip ties. So, I mean, I would, I would use it. And I don't have a use for this one. I just put it on here to show you. Um, I also don't have a use for these nylon uh, pieces. Um, now, for the nylon fasteners, I guess what I could say is if you were to put these, um, sorry, if you were to put these down here, right, and uh, let me see if this will, yeah, it should be okay. So, try to find a, a way to screw these down, but if you were to put them down here, then you would give yourself two millimeters above the metal. Let me see if I can find that real quickly. I'm trying to, I see if I can get this stuff to go quick, so give me one second. I will see what I've got here. Oh, here we go. All right, so let me try this. <clears throat> All right, so what I would say is, you know, you could easily, um, 
you could easily use this. And then what will happen is because it sits up like that, when you put your flight controller on, it'll be lifted enough to where you're not hitting any of the metal. So, I mean, these do have a purpose for that only, really. I don't see any other use for them right now. Um, but like I said, it's, it's, it, I'm glad they've included it. I'm just going to add them like I would normally. Let's see if this thing will at least assist me in getting this down there a little bit quicker. Not enough. All right. So, and I don't think this is going to reach, but we'll try it anyway. There we go. Oh, that's better at least. It's a little bit quicker. All right, so we'll do all four of these very quickly, and then we'll move on to finishing this frame out, okay? Let's get this to fit. Oh my goodness. Can't get these nylon pieces on here very well. There we go. Let's go ahead and do that one. Okay, we'll do the last one and then I'll just hand tighten those real quickly and then we'll move on. All right. Okay, so there we go. Let's just take this off, hand tighten these. One, two, three. Four. Okay, so now we've got that part done. Let's set that aside. Get our tools set aside. Okay, put this back up. All right, so that being said, now we can finish the rest of the frame. So the, uh, the next option, again, we're going to leave these two out for right now. Uh, the next thing is going to be to put in your, um, your camera mounts here. So we're going to put one right there, and uh, we're going to put the other one right here. Okay. And then let's just go ahead and place everything in nicely. One, two, there we go. And with that, we will go ahead now and we will add the last bit of the screws. These are gonna be the six millimeter again. So let's go ahead and just knock those out. And once you get one or two in, you can really let go of this. You don't have to worry about it. So I'm just gonna put one in and then I can kind of move freely around the rest of the frame. So just get it, make sure it's all lined up. Okay. I see that my camera piece kind of, there we go. Mine kind of moved a little bit when I was shifting this. Just go ahead now and finish screwing it all in. one okay now what you should notice after this is if you did it like I did you're gonna end up with some screws left over these two longer or these four longer screws are because we use the 30 millimeter in here instead so these didn't get used at all but save them they're a good quality screw whoops I got to put in one more six millimeter which is probably the one that I just misplaced so there we go I'm gonna put that right here all right and then you're going to end up with two eight millimeters that are left over because those were the would be the screws that would be used if you were going to use this piece here which is two millimeters thick and that would go right on the back here okay i'm not going to use this piece and if i do it'll be printed and not made out of carbon fiber so these two are going to be put aside plus you're going to end up with these nylon pieces here that you're not going to use either it's supposed to be four of them there it is the fourth one's right there all right so at the end of the day um this sucker doesn't move i mean it's awesome it is solid God darn, it's solid, okay? And you can see with the 35 or 30 mil, you've got enough room here to clear, all right? So you probably can't go any taller than this, but um, this is gonna be ample room to do what you need. And again, if you want more room than this, just put everything on the bottom and you'll be set to go, all right? So um, let me just, the last thing I was gonna do, which 
don't know if this reading is going to come out right or not, but let me just say that. Oh, where did it go? Where did it go? Uh, well, I've walked around everything, and I do not see my scale. Um, I want to say that this thing is, I think it's listed as 100 grams, but I want to say that I measured it about 85 the way it's built. Um, I'll check, though, but I mean, it's listed at 100, but I think it's going to be a little less than that. So anyway, so... So again, this is the um, Martian 5 215 millimeter. You can find it under the TCM, TCMM portion of the website, which I showed you earlier. And uh, let me get this picture in picture out. I'll do that right there. Okay, so there you go, guys. There's the frame right there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually get ready to do a live build. And we're going to fit this out with a few things and show you how cool it could be. Uh, very strong frame, 5 millimeter thick arms. And this is going to be one of uh, a ton of videos I'm about to do on frame builds because I've got 2,000 frames now. Uh, that I need to um, put some videos. Uh, they're not 2,000 different ones, but there's definitely a lot of them. So again, there it is. And uh, please always follow us on Facebook if you could please and show us some support on that. And then if you don't mind, also um, subscribing to our uh, YouTube channel. And if you do have any questions, as always, please email us using our contact page on the website, cyclonefpv.com forward slash pages forward slash contact. Okay. Other than that, guys, God bless. Be safe. Spend time with your family. Enjoy the most of it. You never know how much time you have left, so please make the most of it with them today. Other than that, peace.